the first photographer I really got into on like YouTube was Evan Ranf. And I think I found him just through trying to understand how to work the camera and use like the manual settings and whatnot. So that's just kind of something that I saw. I was like, oh, let's give it a shot. Through that, I just found getting out on the street with just this much more fast paced environment. On a landscape, you set up the tripod, you sit there, wait for the conditions to kind of come to fruition if they do at all. But the street photography, you just gotta be really kind of, you know, present in the moment. I think it was around the winter time that I really got into it. So I had to start with finding ways to use bokeh with the light sources that you could find. And, you know, I think I took like a picture of some stairs, just trying to get like a kind of cool perspective, geometric stuff. So that's kind of where I started. Cause yeah, I quickly realized at that time, like I couldn't quite do what Evan Ranf was doing there in Atlanta, you know, still was able to pick up so many like tips and tricks from him and other, you know, photographers on YouTube in those bigger cities. And I just had to kind of figure out like how I can, you know, approach Columbus from that way, but also kind of shape and evolve that to my own style. When I first started, I definitely did feel some nerves. But again, I think in that situation, that's where it's like, usually I'm at a distance. I'm using like a 50 millimeter or, you know, maybe even a telephoto lens, something that gives me a little space between me and the subject. But of course, at times I'll be standing, waiting for that shot right in front of a restaurant where everybody behind me you know, can see me and there's still some anxiety and nerves that come up with that. I've just tried to have the mindset of, you know, just not really caring what people think and realize that they're probably more curious than judging. In Columbus, I think there's something about the Midwest politeness where people just kind of won't bother you too much. You know, they'll, they might give you a look or something, but I try to not give too much, you know, credence to that or concern over it. One of the more difficult aspects of Columbus street photography is getting compositions where you can include people in it. Because I find it just depends on the time and day when you get downtown or, you know, in certain places, especially during COVID when people were just not out. If I was in a place like New York where you know there are going to be people, but again, with Columbus, I just feel like to be successful and kind of make it fun, you have to kind of know where to set those expectations. And so I've just found by just letting everything kind of be and just being present in the moment and trying to find the beauty in whatever is actually happening then and capturing that, it's a lot more satisfying than going out with too much intention or expectation. There are definitely so many other cities, you, you know, I see on Instagram, like, man, I wish I could be there right now, taking shots there. Um, I mean, it's home, so in a way it's very familiar. I would say also though, photography itself has kind of helped me have a better relationship with Columbus. Since I was probably middle school, high school, I thought I definitely want to move out of Ohio, move somewhere else. I think something about photography has helped me kind of reframe my thoughts in Columbus. And, you know, small city, there may be not as much going on, but I've realized, you know, there actually is a lot of beauty and a lot of little compositions you can find. And I think we have a great photography community that I've been able to, you know, tap into here, whether it be through social media or in person, and also found other creative and events you can partake in. So even beyond just taking the photos, I think just knowing there are other people of similar interests and our artists themselves is a huge part of it. But as far as Actually, I love a good Coda bus. <laughs> I definitely, that's a, that's a um, subject that I love to include in a lot of my photos. But as far as dislikes, I mean, there's honestly, there's probably more as far as when I'm actually taking photos. It's because it's, it's a tough city to shoot. It's hit or miss as far as how many people will be out and around. And, you know, it is a small city, so you work your way around pretty quickly. But with that comes a challenge, which I like. I think that's probably one of the you know, positive is it is challenging. It kind of pushes you to be creative and, you know, find new ways to explore those compositions or the subjects you're trying to frame up.